What have I told you? The most expensive substance ever made by mankind wasn't some exotic antimatter or rare diamond. For centuries, alchemists died chasing a phantom, the dream of turning cheap lead into precious gold. They believed it was a mystical secret, a spiritual quest. They were wrong, but they were closer than they could have ever imagined. The secret wasn't magic, it was physics. The identity of every element is brutally simple. It's just a number, the number of protons in its atomic nucleus. Lead has 82 protons. Gold has 79. To turn lead into gold, all you have to do is remove three protons. It sounds simple, it's not. You can't just pluck protons out of an atom. They are bound by the strongest force in the universe. To break that bond, you need to cheat. You need a machine that can accelerate other atoms to nearly the speed of light and smash them together in a controlled subatomic demolition derby. You need a particle accelerator. The first successful transmutation didn't use lead. It used mercury. Mercury has 80 protons, just one more than gold. In 1941, scientists bombarded mercury atoms with high-speed neutrons. The impact was so precise, so violent, it knocked a single proton clean out of the mercury nucleus, leaving behind gold. They had done it. They had achieved the alchemist's dream. For the first time in history, humans had created gold from another element, a monumental achievement a turning point for science, and a discovery that was completely and utterly worthless. Here's the soul-crushing reality. Running a particle accelerator costs millions of dollars per day. The process is unbelievably inefficient. After days of work and astronomical energy consumption, the amount of gold they created was so small, it could only be identified by its radioactive signature. It was less than a microgram. To create enough gold for a single wedding ring, you would need to run the machine continuously for over 400 trillion years. The cost would be more than all the money that has ever existed on planet Earth. It turns out there is a factory that can make gold efficiently. It's just not on Earth. The gold on our planet was forged billions of years ago in the final violent death throes of collapsing neutron stars. The universe paid the price for our gold with the death of suns, a cost we can only measure in stardust. If you want to decode the enigmas of our universe, join the mission.